Right. We've got an absolutely stocking battle for third and fourth. Hornardle in the number 48. That's the man filter liveried car. Oh, and we've got a car off. It's Matt Campbell. Matt Campbell has gone off to driver's right. And that's the run down to. Is that uh, to what, uh, that's Arenberg or is that yeah, Fox, Schwedenkreuz, isn't it? It's Schwedenkreuz, the left hander before yeah. Arenberg, the right hander. Campbell in the wall because he had to go one side of an intervention vehicle. The 48 car going left of Christian Hohenardel. Campbell's still on the road, we should point out. It's just that he rattled down the Armco with, with an Audi intervention vehicle blocking his path. Johnny, I was just about to mention he'd been glued to the rear end of that number 48 Mercedes and in the 31. That's the Frickadelli Porsche. He was absolutely glued and has been for most of the lap. They've <laughs> then come upon an intervention vehicle over a blind brow. And this is all what the Nordschleife can throw at you. Absolute it's the green hell for a reason and matt campbell just had to take to driver's right around the right hand side of the intervention vehicle however the intervention vehicle just happened to be on the extreme right of the track yeah. so he had to go down the gap which is a car's width of grass between the intervention vehicle and the arm core now he looked like he scuffed the arm core he did. it depends on how hard he's hit that that looked like a scuff rather than a direct hit. I, th I would be very surprised if he's got away with that one. Absolutely. That was, I mean, at that kind of a speed, I mean, it's 160 miles an hour going down to Schwedenkreuz. <laughs> and, you know, you don't go up against a barrier and then just keep going. But uh, Matt I mean, Campbell does. You were, <laughs> I mean, you were right to highlight the battle, uh, Joe, because Christian Hohenardl, uh, driving very well, but trying to keep that Porsche behind him. And just behind him Ooh. is Luis uh, Felipe Fernandez in the Glickenhaus, number 705. So it's a three-way battle that's going on there a huge accident on the dottinger hur as cars are scattered left and right into the barrier this has happened moments ago it looks like the 135 car is involved in this incident together with not sure on the other car but there is debris all across the road and intervention vehicles that have already been deployed, I think, for other incidents, One, three, are now attending the scene. 135 is a class leader, would you believe? It's the V6 class leader, Roberto Falcon, at the wheel of the team Matol Racing uh, car. That's a Porsche Cayman. Uh, it was a Porsche Cayman. Um, as I say, that's the 135. And which was the other one? We you didn't get it. Can't that tell one. Right I, now. I didn't hear uh, a number there. But it's not just the two cars, though, Johnny. There's uh, so much debris yeah. from what has clearly been um, a, a cars that have bounced <sighs> off the well, uh, off the barriers. And uh, the 135 Paul was in the air. It looks like the scene of an aircraft accident. The debris, does. the field of debris, yeah, is exactly. hundreds it's very, of meters. And it's very difficult for the uh, drivers to pick a way through. I don't like this. This is potential for a red flag incident thing yeah. here because they're going to they're not going to be able to clear the track i'm uh, afraid without that it was it was cars going into a yellow flag area because uh, an intervention vehicle's towing a stricken car into the lay-by which is on the right hand side uh, and used for the uh, paid for laps it's around the tourist laps, the tourist entry, laps is the, is the and then in the ever increasing gloom the yellow flag clearly has not been spotted by the driver of the Porsche 135 and it is basically slammed into the back